Hi y'all, this is Brittany with Brittany's Creations and I'm here with another project to share with you. Um, it is a altered cigar box and I use the Graphic 45 Botanical Tea paper lines. First time I got to use the paper. <clears throat> so I hope you like what, oops, sorry. I hope you like what I did. Um, so I don't know where to start. This was a box I've had sitting in my craft room probably for the past like four years. And it's wood on the inside, and then it's cut, it has like a metal sh a metal shell to it. So I was getting so frustrated. There's probably about 15 layers of paint on this box. I was getting so frustrated because the paint would not stay. And there's some layers of so many different mediums and paints on this. So I just decided, you know, cover it all with paper and lace and there. <laughs> so that's pretty much what I ended up doing. The only spot that shows paint is on the top, right around the edge, just the only spot you see paint, which is kind of funny. Um, so as you can see, I did put uh, paper on the cover. I used the 8x8 paper pad. The second thing I did was I super, super sparkle glimmer misted up a doily, which is, you can see in the back, nice and shimmery with Lindy's. I also sprayed the paper with Lindy's stamp King. I don't know if you can kind of... Uh, can you see it? I don't know. Probably not. Little spots you can, but I sprayed the paper with Lindy Sam King as well. Um, and then I just did a lot of layering. So I have a... I did layer some paper. So there's actually like a strip of green paper in the back. And then these are two of the die cut, you know, little cutouts that I distressed the sides and I glued them here. I tried to keep the quote say show the quote um and then I put a heart doily behind that and then I put this beautiful large applique here that goes all the way from here to here and then I have a little bit of lace poking out in the back here and the botanical tea which I cut out from the paper and I distressed it and I placed it there um so let me start um, I altered up a bunch of flowers with um, gesso and um, Tattered Angels um, paint, glitter paint. Well, like Tattered Angels, but it's like the, the paint medium they have. Um, I'm thinking like some pink pixie dust, something like that. And you can see it up here. I put gesso and then I put the spray. And it's actually really sparkly. I don't know if you can really see it, but... It is very sparkly. Um, so and there's a little metal piece I layered back here. Um, I have the little these pearl sprays I put um, on here as well, so I have it here, and I also have one over here. And then um, I'll start down here. I just layered a bunch of different flowers. I have trellis roses, prima flowers, um, paper source flowers from Hobby Lobby, just wild wicker craft flowers pretty much in general. Um, I have these little beautiful fabric flowers which I got from Bonnie. I have them all over the place. Um, I also added these little bling pieces which I also got from Bonnie, and I added some pearls, like I always do. Um, I have a bird here, and I also have a little tea time teapot there, which you can, um, so you can tell that I put a little gesso on everything, and I also glitter misted mostly everything, and I added that sparkle glitter to a lot of it. Um, then over here, I layered, this is a heart um, rosette, in white and then I put a Prima fairy on top of that and I glittered up her wings with the paint and I put a Prima little light bulb that says care and I dressed with that up as well um, I tucked in these Prima sprays back here and then for the top here I have a huge flower here which I forgot where I got that from. This beautiful flower here, which I got in a swap. This is the Capuchon from Hobby Lobby. I have an, more of those fabric roses here. 
This is a Prima flower. This is a flower from Hobby Lobby. Whoops. Sweetheart Blossoms from Walder Crafts and then a Trellis Rose and another Prima flower. And then I have a little bow here with, um, I put the Sweetheart Blossom on top of that. And you can tell I put the glitter paint and the gesso all throughout um, them as well. And then I tuck some of this lace back under here so it hangs down. And then I have this butterfly which I might have got from Bonnie, I don't remember. But um, I added gesso and the paint to that as well. And then I have the a little Prima zipper in the center of that. Which I also gessoed and added the glitter to. So I think that pretty much covers that. I took all the hardware off the box so there's no like lock on the front or hinges on the back. It's all done with uh, trims and laces. So like I said, the paint got me really frustrated. So I covered everything with lace and papers. So before I open the box, I'm gonna try to, I'm trying to do this with one hand. I covered the bottom. The bottom had like a velvet bottom to it. And I distressed the bottom. And then I put paper around the sides as well. And then I layered two different trims. I have this one here and then this one. And over, and ooh, there goes my box. Um, sorry, I'm doing this with one hand. One second. Okay. So the back for the hinge, I used these lace rosettes to connect the lid to the base of the box. So that's like the hinges is these three rosettes. And I added the wild craft roses to the center of those. And then around the top, I have the pink rosette. And I wrapped laces onto the outside, um, from the outside to the inside. So you can see here, there's a Venice lace that wraps around the inside here. And then into the inside of the box. I covered it with paper. I also have paper in the bottom, another doily that I glimmer misted, and paper going around the sides. And you can see here as well, I have um, this lace on the inside that this lace wrapped from here over. And I put the yellow small rosette trim and the little pink rosettes in the corners. And then to cover on the inside, like where the spine is, to just make it look a little bit nicer. And so it doesn't like, um, because before it was closing like this, like the bo the lid was like in here, like back there. So to make sure it closes properly, I put the, this Myro trim here so it like lays, the lid will lay down properly when you close it. And I also put pearls going around the inside and up the sides. So I have like the small pink cream pearls going around the sides and then the larger blue going around the inside. Well, the bottom. Um, so yeah, there's my altered box. I really, really, really like how it came out. And I hope you guys like it as well. Uh, let me know what you think. And I'll talk to her all soon. So it was really fun to be able to, whoops, be able to work with this um, paper collection. And I hope to work with it more. Uh, so yeah, let me know what you guys think. I'll talk to you all soon. Bye-bye.